So we talked uh, a couple of videos ago about the structure of the items on a network and one of the core ones is a switch. It's the simplest and fastest and in general a switch um, looks just like what you can see on the screen there. It is a large flat chunk of metal <coughs> excuse me, that has a whole bunch of ports in it that receives packets on one of those ports. Um, ideally what the switch would like to do is get that packet, figure out who it's destined for and pass it out only to that person. But how does it know how to do that? Well, the problem is solved very simply. We give the switch a memory, we give it a table, uh, which is called the forwarding information base. And this is a table that maps MAC addresses of specific machines to ports on the switch. All it does when the switch receives a packet is it checks what packet is that MAC address destined for, and then it sends the packet out on the corresponding port. The only problem here is what if a switch receives a packet for a machine it doesn't have in its table, or how does it actually fill in its table to start off with? And this problem is solved by the switch broadcasting out. So if a switch gets a packet destined for a MAC address that it does not have, it will send that information, it will send a broadcast out to everyone asking who has this MAC address. Once it gets a reply, uh, it will add that reply, uh, that MAC address and the port to its table and then it will pass that packet uh, down the appropriate port. Uh, the process can be implemented via a finite state machine and it follows this general structure here. Um, routers do exactly the same thing but they have two additional tables. They have a route table and an address resolution protocol table. The route table checks uh, what IP address to pass information on based on where it is going and the address resolution protocol table that maps IP addresses to MAC addresses. At the lowest level a router always has also has a forwarding information base so it knows which traffic to send down which ports. So if a, um, if a router uh, receives a packet of information for a device on its network, what it will do, it will, uh, it will use the route table to identify that that traffic is destined for a network that it is on. Then it will look up in its address resolution protocol table which MAC address, which specific machine on its network is that traffic for, and it will use uh, the forwarding information base table to know which port to send that information out on. Um, that process is why routers are slower than switches because they have to look up a great number more things. Um, to be really clear, how packets work is as they are wrapped up using encapsulation through a, the, the, the layers of the OSI model, the outer layer is always the current destination MAC address and the source MAC address. And as it moves from one machine to the next, uh, that MAC, those MAC addresses get changed. So let me give you an example. This uh, packet going from here to here uh, would start off wrapped with the MAC address destination um, of router 1 and the MAC address source of this host MAC address. Once it gets to this router, this router unwraps it, checks the IP address information, does not change it, and then uses that IP information to rewrap it with a new set of um, destination and source MAC addresses. Those that new information will guide it on its next hop and then this router will do the same thing. It will unwrap it, read the destination and source IP addresses and then it will give it two new uh, MAC address categories and pass it on. And this process repeats until your traffic arrives at the server which recognizes that it is the destination IP and that passes it higher up the OSI model where it is um, unwrapped to, uh, and, and dealt with by the application layer. Um, how this process is filled in, the ARP process, is very similar to the switch process. You can see the specifics on the slide, but essentially if a, if a router receives a um, piece of information for an IP address that it does not know how to get to on its network, it will broadcast a request for the IP address that it's looking for out to its network and wait for a response. Diagrammatically it looks like this. 
and once it gets a response it will add that to its ARP table. The security flaw with all of this, if you haven't realized it already, is that anyone can reply with those acknowledgements and say yes send the traffic to me. There are ways around this but it is rather a major security issue and in general if you want to see this process in action you can use TCP dump to listen on particular ports and ping to generate packets and ARP requests if the network is not known.